This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, it's going to be your last video of this standard format before the release of Ikoria. So what should that video be? I thought it should be a deck that truly, madly, deeply, like Savage Garden in the 90s, defines everything about this format. And more than anything, it should showcase the complete justice that is current magic, the, the way that everything is fair and balanced, the way that all the colors are equally represented, and it should really, it shouldn't have any janky nonsense. It shouldn't have any silliness. It should be only the strongest possible cards to make up a deck. And so, even though I swore I wouldn't release this to the public, I swore this was a Twitch-only deck, but, you know, we just have to do it. We just have to do it. Um, I'm going to reveal to you my Simic Just Good Cards deck, but I can't just open this deck box and show it to you. I know that's what you want but we got to keep the monster in the cage. No, we just have to dive into games because to actually show it to you will spoil so much of the surprise that we can't do it. So remember to buckle your seatbelts and have a little fun. Let's dive right in. Oh, but first, before we do, the obligatory sponsorness. Promo code CGB5 will get you 5% off at CoolStuffInc.com, where they are releasing Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths, for paper in the near future. So put your orders and pre-orders in, singles, supplies, whatever, and you can get a discount with the promo code CGB5. Please come out to Twitch tomorrow when you're watching this, probably. Uh, Wednesday. That is going to be the early access event sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, where I will be playing with Ikoria. We will have the God account. We will have all the cards. We have the brews. I've built, I've brewed so many decks. You're going to love it. And if you're looking for that crafting guide to Ikoria, that will be live on the CGB Gaming channel. On the CGB Gaming channel, most likely. If not, it'll be here. You'll find it easily. But most likely on the CGB Gaming channel, on uh, probably right before it's released on Arena. So probably Wednesday night. Thursday morning, something like that, where I will tell you what I would craft in this set. And I've worked even harder on it this time. For every card I say to craft, I also have a sample deck list in the guide. So you're going to really want to watch that video and check that out. Now, I will show you what real unlimited power is all about. All right, guys. Getting real. It's getting real. I promised you only the greatest of cards, only the best cards, no nonsense, nothing like that. Just the best cards we could possibly find in the color combination. The thing that I didn't expect when I set out to build the finest Simic deck of all time was how many good Simic cards there are. So I present to you the Simic Tower of Power. Co you know, hashtag only good cards, Simic Ramp. Now, I don't know, we had some people questioning whether or not I'd want to build an 80-card deck for one of the companions in the new set. I said I could build a 250-card Simic deck with no bad cards, and I'm going to show you that I did it. Not only that, I think it's even funnier, I can't build a white deck with 60 cards I like. I can't build a 60-card good stuff white deck. But 250-card Simic? No problem. Absolutely no problem. And as you see, Thassa, Risen Reef, we're already ready to go here. And all of the cards you're going to see get played in other places. There, we didn't have to skimp on quality, even a little. That's how absolutely packed with stuff the Simic deck has become. The Simic mechanic is. I don't know what, what Simic ever did to make Wizards love it so much but they spared no expense. So in this game, our opponent Banishing Lighted, a Risen Reef, which we got Thassa down, we got to blink our Fipple Thib, we've got Tamio and Gilded Goose coming up. What's this? Paradise Druid. So I'm guessing our opponent's one of them crazy Aura decks, and they've got the combo of Sentinel's Eyes. Very curious to see if that wrecks us or not. 
They're clicking around. Come and get it. Now, there's going to be an interesting question. I was going to say what to name with Tamiyo, which I guess is still a question we have to answer. But can we point out the absolute magnetism between these cards? Can we just take a moment to appreciate that? Thank you. Okay. I don't know what to name with this card. <laughs> Come on down. I was going to name Agent of Treachery, not not gonna lie. I was going to name Agent of Treachery. Let me aid your research. Let's see, my opponent's playing green, so Aether Gust would be a pretty good hit. Whatever. We could almost pick at random. Look at the list. Just you know, take a minute and check this out. Another agent? <laughs> and a Nyx Bloom Ancient? Oh my god. All right, here comes the goose. Let's allow the goose to be loose. No bluff attack, weak. What can I say? I don't want the fipple thip to get lost. Draw a card. Another opt. So we need a mana source or we need the goose to live. But with two opts, and with over 100 lands in the deck, I think 125 are in this version. I had 150. I actually scaled it back. Scaled it back a little. I dialed back on the 150 land. The, the amount of tuning this deck has received is ridiculous in proportion to how silly it is. Go in face, ignoring Tamiyo with an agent in the yard. That's that's what we call a bold strategy. Well, I'm going to start stealing things. My biggest concern is that the opponent makes this unblockable and sneaks through. Look at me actually trying here. But I all that to say, I think I'm going to chump block another finale. I don't need another one. I don't think. There's the gust. <laughs> there is the gust. Down to 15. There's the land. I want that Nyx Bloom Agent. Let's just go ahead and grab it while we can. I guess you do not want to talk. I do sort of want to play it. I don't want the opponent to scoop when they see this agent, but it's so easily the best play, it's kind of nutty. Give me that. I want it. Oh, Karametra's blessing. Look at the gamer. Look at that gamer. Still mine. <laughs> Not enchanted. Not hexproof. Not how the card works. <laughs> Good God. I've got to tell you be careful when hitting the craft all if you load up this deck. There's a lot of mythics in it, and rares. Also, be very, very careful. Um, if your computer can't handle this deck, it might just crash on loading. And sometimes when I play against opponents whose computer can't handle this deck, it can't even load the game. So, just a few of the pitfalls of playing only the best Simic cards in one deck. We don't even have, like, Nightpack Ambusher in here, by the way. Our opponent might be Rogue Tribal or something. Let's graze him. Because we could still draw a land off the top and keep curving out and play the Leafkin. If we draw the land. We do need to draw the land. Scry. Bottom. Tinny, are you getting unblockable? <laughs> this doesn't have defender. Could have attacked. It's fine. Just realized it. All right. Land and we Nissa. Like the absolute lords of the game that we are. I love that we have a pair of O3s, but they're not defenders. Which is going to be really relevant when Mutate starts taking off. Okay, weird. We draw a Thassa, but there's no value to it. There's an Annex on the field, which we could Aether Gust, which I think I like. 
But I think this is just a, a gusting turn. What do you think the blue is for? What do you think this interesting brew that if this was all mountains, I'd just be swearing up a storm? Stormkin, okay. I mean, that is a card. So is that. Go away. Go away. To the bottom. Nice. All right. If they exile a land. Okay. Incubation Druid. Get our blocks. Off the top. Nisha. Let's go, girl. Let them have it. Let them have it. Who cares what the rest of your deck is if you draw Nissa who shakes the world? In multiples, I might add. Easy agent top deck? Let's hope so. Annex returns. I'm not surprised by that one little bit. One, two, three, then four, five, six. So I can steal you. Whoa. Whoa, opponent feeling frisky. They don't have the mana for the Ember Cleave. They might have a Bone Crusher Giant, which means I don't really want to block with my islands because it could take me off the mass manipulation. We'll just do this. We have plenty of life to spare. And if they play my Incubation Druid, who cares, really? Yep. I had a feeling. <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? Uh, do I want to use that? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it like this. The land fights for us. Come here. Come play with me. We want to get the agent down so that Thassa just takes over the game. It'll be great. It'll be great. We've Thassa agented people two games in a row out of our 250 card deck. No problem. <laughs> it's, it's easy. Magic is easy. Our opponent, though, they are not done being frisky. Face is the only place they understand. Uh? I mean, pretty easy blocks over here. Stormkin I can't block, so I get that. This you could make unblockable, you know, by paying a mana. So maybe you try it? Yes, that that's it. So I think what our opponent is, is is it rogues? Because they've got Robber of the Rich, they've got Tin Street Dodger, they probably have Brazen Borrower. Those are the rogues if you want to cast your Robber of the Rich cards more often. And now you have an O2. Boom. I mean, I almost have to steal it back based on principle. Based on the principle of the situation. Here's Thassa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pay. No problemo. What else you got? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't counter it? Nonsense. All right, one, two. I could untap this and have three, but there's no use for three. If I had a four, I could use the Thassa to tap something, so. Everybody go say hi to our friend, the opponent. See how their face feels after this. All right, give me your stormy thing. Give me that flyer. Oh my gosh, what if they let me ultimate Nyssa? It would be such BM, but I, I, I like have to do it. There's like 40 some forests in this deck. Oh, we have to do it. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. This hand does so close to nothing. We have to keep it. <laughs> uh, the big question is, do I thin the deck to increase my chance of drawing non-land? The Fabled Passage on turn one. 
Always thin the deck or the YouTube comments go crazy. Oh my god, you could have thinned the deck at timestamp blah blah blah. Why don't you do that? You're worst magic player. And you call yourself YouTuber, you big dum-dum. Boom. Forest. Temple of Malice. Are we gonna play Rakdos like the rest of the frickin' world? That's, that's a good draw. That's a pretty sick draw. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Yep. Put that somewhere else. Put that somewhere else. Nobody wants to see that right now. To the bottom, love it. Alright. Let's get him. Let's show him how Uro does Uro things. Oh my gosh, we have Uro and a Cavalier of Thorns and a Nyx Bloom Ancient. There's just... Like, this curve is nuts. It's just no bad cards. You just always have it at all times playing Simic. No whiffs. Cool. And now Uro's ready to come back and just stomp all over everything. This deck has to figure out what to do about Cav of Thorns. They got a Chandra. If they had a Priest of the Forgotten Gods, I'd be scared. Like, there's not much I can do about that card. I mean, what are you going to do? I'm just going to attack this. Like... I don't even have to. I can just play Questing Beast if that's what I want. But I think I'm dropping the Ancient. I think we're dropping an Ancient one. But the opponent has to get their one damage. They gotta do it. I guess they also get um, a damage from the Mayhem Devil for the sacrifice. We already saw two Aether Gusts. I'm sure I'll draw a third then. If I draw an Aether Gust, I'll play Questing Beast and smash face that way. But no, nah, it's a Merrily Pixie. You want to protect this? How much do you care about the Acolyte of Flame? But she's so cute though. Okay, now she's dead. Say hello to my little friend. Our opponent looks at their hand, sees three claim the firstborn, and cries into the pillow. But hey, we've got cat oven. So, who knows? Who knows? Maybe more things could happen. Oh no, they hit the agonizing remorse. They can take out the Uro. But I don't know if they will. They've got some interesting choices. They've got light up the stage and Chandra. They're kind of old school. Well, they went for the Questing Beast. I would have taken the Uro. I think it's better than the Questing Beast. Double Oven. Okay, that's a lot of damage. But Uro just doesn't care, I think. Although, Uro, Uro can get claimed, and they have one card left. <laughs> no! No! It looks like 69, so it has to be the right number. <laughs> the opponent's like, it can't be a Hydroid Crisis. Don't worry, it's not. It's not. But if this isn't a, um, a Tilt Scoop, I don't know what is. <laughs> Just 12 cards. No big deal. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. All right. So another nine mana. Actually, yeah, I can't play this and uh, have an untapped land or it would be insane. So I guess I'll just agent. We'll tap the mayhem devil. Opponent is out of here. <laughs> out of here. Uh, nope. Better, closer, warmer. I guess I'll put the cav on the bottom. And then 
Yeah, no ramp, but we might draw it. We'll we'll draw the ramp card, right? We've only got like 30, 40, something like that, two mana ramp spells. Easy peasy. Nope. Not today. And the Knight of the Ebon Legion is ready for combat. The Knight of the Ebon Legion and the Knight of the Ebon Legion are ready for combat. While I have nothing. I... I who have nothing. Kroll Raider, 2-3, Menace. Okay. Questing Beast. Show him what's up. Show him what's up. Be careful what you say. Or you'll give yourself away. Odds are you won't live to see tomorrow. I think we just trade. Card's not doing much otherwise. Secret Asian man. Secret Asian man. I think we draw two here. And the idea behind that is we can block the knight and make them use their mana if they attack with it. Otherwise, they don't get to attack at all. And we still might find a land. Yay. Yay! Giving you a number and taking away your name. That's a card. What will you give up? Your mighty Kroll Raider? Or your mighty Knight of the Ebon Legion? Nothing. Okay. Doesn't care to kill the Krasis. I'm into it. I also have a Mythic Cavalier. Guild Gate. Liliana. Mmm. Cool. And we're sacrificing also uh, Bold. Okay. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just give me this land. They get two cards. That's probably not bad. But then we yoink. Mine. You know, my wife describes me the same way. Smelly, but effective. <laughs> they've got all the they've got all the removal for their own things. They were they came for the mirror. Boom, zero zero. Yes. Best ever. Let's hold this for something more appetizing. It, yep, yep, uh-huh. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Where's the Elder Spell when you need it? And fear. Get him. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can't Omen and Agent unless we draw another land or if this dies. But I'll mark the upkeep anyway in case we want to scry. Just in case. We're starting to get to that point where we have a lot of mana. Thorn's Thirst. Okay. You got it. Rotting Regisaur. That's what I call appetizing. That's what I call appetizing. We just want to hit a land here, because whatever we hit, we'll have to discard to the Regisaur. Secret Asian man. Secret Asian man. Giving me a dino. Taking away your game. No, maybe, probably. We're doing musical numbers today. Like I said, gotta have a little fun. Finale. Oh, our opponent also is running some spice. Look at those beautiful forests I get to discard. 
Boom. Forest land. Show them the beating with their own dinosaur now. Midnight Reaper. Got it. Yarg's Fenlurker. Forest down. So our opponent's still with more little creatures. They are not done with us yet. Let's scry it up. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Never enough, never, never, never enough for me, for me. They don't even want to see it. They can't bear to see it. They know what I drew. They probably think it's a crisis, but, you know. Same diff. You thought he wouldn't do it. You thought it was crazy. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. I don't care, I don't care if I lost my mind. We're going to ranked. Yes. Lady, yeah, boy. Get ready. <laughs> we can live in a world that we design. Every night I lie in bed, 250 cards in my deck. All right. Oh my gosh. In the Simic Mirror, I am the greedier one, but I have no ramp. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. <laughs> Scry carefully. I really hope they're on Sultai. I hope we face a Sultai deck similar to what we faced the other day, because those decks are going to have a hard time grinding. All right. Is it Flash? It's not, is it? It's Simic. Obviously. I don't think we can beat the Flash. Ooh, Gross Spiral. Hit me. All right, we need to draw another land. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Let's mark their upkeep, as that is the time we want to Spyro the Dragon. Oh, they're going in for an opt. Okay, I'll do it now. They might have a Mystical Dispute. But they don't. All right, forest off the top, and we are golden. But they're playing Opt, which means they're probably Simic Flash, which means I probably, not definitely, but probably can't win. <laughs> it's, it's something to do with all these quenchable cards. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. It appears I am up against Wilderness Reclamation. Boom. Cavalier. Right on time. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Wilderness Reclamation. It will be mine. Unless they counter it, it will be mine. But they didn't have anything to stop me from playing the Cavalier last turn. Secret. Asian man. <laughs> How? How do I always have Agent of Treachery? How? How is anybody going to step up and actually compete with me? I don't feel like anybody's even giving me a game. What the heck is this? Snapkeep, got hopped, Fipplefib, Garrick, Gadwick, Chadwick, you know what I mean. We got the castle Garenbrig. Yeah, hello. You're gonna, are you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, somebody remembered how mono red works. Okay, I, I see what, I see what might happen here. <laughs> I see what could happen. All right. Here comes Fibbles. Uh, maybe I was supposed to play the Breeding Pool or the Island to keep the Gadwick option open. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. Go ahead, light your stage. Just don't play Steamkin. Uh huh. Alright, then in this case. 
Let's go do it. Graze him. That'll that'll show him. No attacks here. Need to draw some big power fatty boom booms. You monster! How dare you! No blocks here. Next turn, I probably want to block the Steamkin to keep it from using the mana. Oh, that's a good draw. Your first appearance today, Mr. Hydra Boy. Fight it. Show Mono Red who's boss. Um, I mean, what's the point in attacking, really? There could be another haste creature. They could try to work their way through this somehow. Ah, uh, whatever. He's just been sitting there doing nothing. Let th let the little guy have a moment. Give him a moment. Strong style. That's what that is. That's strong style. All right. Gas up. We're going to need it. But I got a bad feeling about this. Gust. Interesting. Hold on. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm ready for my ember cleave. Steams. Yep. Robs. Okay, no ember cleave. That means I'm still in this game a little. But I don't have more cards, and I'm flooding. So now we need to draw the opponent into some kind of commitment and gust them. Okay. In response, go away and tap you. This means the shock won't kill the Gadwick. Oh. Oh! Lame. So lame. I hate red. <laughs> no! Not like this! Who, would, who could have foreseen a flood? We only run 125 land. Like, we're, we're cheating, basically. Okay. Um, this doesn't actually have a good block, so I'll just throw this under the bus. It would be chumping to save life next turn anyway, so at least this way I keep my Hydra around. No! Oh! No! Stop! Please stop! Starting to feel strong over there. Coward. <laughs> At least they took another land. At least they took another land. You see, they're definitely scaredy cats after that Aether Gust. But down to four. Last chance. Wow. What a way to die. What a way to die. So from the time we cast Gadwick, we just didn't draw another spell. Because we already had these. We cast Gadwick for three, and we never drew another spell. <laughs> yeah. I guess that can happen. Bolt to the dome. I guess they're playing mono red. It's so important to them, it's in their name. All right, fun. Fun. This is one of those people I talked about who plays mono red every day no matter what. It's, it's a lifestyle, I guess, you know? You wake up in the morning, you ask yourself, I wonder how Chandra's feeling today. I wonder how Torbrand's doing. What a lying piece of garbage. Some people live a deceitful life. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting that somebody could live this way. Send it back. Slow down there, buddy. I could have tried to save that for... I don't know. Heliod. But I didn't. Because I was hoping I'd draw something castable. 
Daxos returns. Life's bounty attacks. Hey, yeah, I block. Just kidding. One punch Fey. Or the fails. Can't block nothing. Flies too high. Not the hawk. Anything but the hawk. Wait. Are you serious right now, bros? Alright, I'll block the darn hawk. Yeah, this isn't working out. Just, if the pride mate shows up, we are so dead. Mass manipulation is not good against this card either, so we need the opponent to tap out, which... Good luck. All their cards don't cost nothing. So we better animate a forest, just in case our opponent kills the land, or we have to block with the land. We still want to be able to cast Mass Manipulation. The opponent doesn't want to block with the Linden, but they could sacrifice this to protect the Linden, which means no, we don't want that. Not until I'm ready. Like, if I can get them to sacrifice this next turn and then resolve Mass Manipulation, I'll be pretty happy. Uh-oh. Only the Healer's Hawk, huh? Take one for the team, bro. <gasps> Are you really doing that? Oh my gosh. They gave it up to protect the hawk. They gave it up for the hawk. What is their hand? It must be more little dorks. Maybe it's unbreakable formation. I don't know. I mean, I got a few of these. So I may as well fire him off. Mine? That was easy. Like what? What's going on with you? What's going on, Bolt to the Dome? I guess more Lindens and more Daxos maybe? They stuffed their own linden in a casket. Unceremonious. This is insane. All right, let's give them the questing beast mode. And the Tamio. What do we search for with Tamio? It's Hydroid Crisis, right? Because that would be fun. We still haven't drawn one in this uh, video. <sighs> Whiffed. So unlucky. Be wary of the ground to walk on. I guess I don't need to attack with you, but everybody else, get in there. Our opponent's at 30. They're not quite dead. Oh my gosh, do I get to ultimate the Nissa? Let me ultimate this Nissa, please. Giant killer. Cool. They're, st they're still fighting. They're still fighting. Kiora off the top. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. When the land speaks, I shall listen. I'll be here for a little while. I have to concentrate. Like, you have to do this so carefully. Because if, if you don't, like, to... It's going to run my frickin' timer out. <laughs> Gotta go back. Uh, yeah, just uh, chill out, everybody. Enjoy this beauty. Yep, here it comes. The rope. The rope wasn't designed for this. There's no select all button. Client just couldn't comprehend. <laughs> Opponent gives me the nice. I'm, it's not on purpose. Hopefully they understand the comedy in the situation. Submit 47. Game state can't handle it. Wait, 
play the Kiora. Minus the Tamio, get back the finale of Revelation. Because that's rude. And we'll play that next turn. We don't need to play that right freaking now. Could untap a blue and just steal both of these. I guess that's fine. Let's get moving. <laughs> it's just so mean. It's so evil. Uh, oh, <laughs> God. Maybe the sunglasses should have made an appearance. Who says this meta's not fun, right? All you... The, the mistake you make is you didn't play all the good Simic cards. You know what I mean? You didn't play all the good ones. <laughs> never enough, never, never, never enough. For me. For me. For me, all oh, the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. The opponent is beyond impressed. Yep, this this is how you live your ranked life, boys and girls. This is this is the way. Do I have a Nyx Bloom Ancient? I don't see a Nyx Bloom Ancient. Opponent is certainly into this, you know, they haven't they haven't scooped on me, so I have to assume they're enjoying themselves in some fashion. Nyx Bloom Ancient, where art thou? You're the missing piece. By the way, one of my bucket lists is to just hit in the dark with the Tamio. Hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, Grazer. Great, great choice. What else? I don't even know where to... I don't know where to begin here, okay? Give me a break. Seems good. Oh, forgot to thin my deck like noob. Classic noob CGB. All right. Um, <laughs> give this up. Go get a three drop. There's Borrower, Risen Reef, and Uro. More Uro seems good, especially with Kiora. We've got to play this out very seriously though. We wouldn't want to make a mistake now. We're just... We're so close to being in a decent position. We're so close to Diamond 1. You just can't risk making an error. Hit him. So we'll hit him with the Hawk. We'll say go. And by the way, we have no maximum hand size. So just something to think about as we continue to play out this game. Maybe the opponent will give me time here to sort my hand a little. Maybe not. Doesn't look like they have as many actions to take on their turn. That's probably good for us, you know, to be honest. You, you, you always want to take a few more actions on your turn than your opponent does. That establishes dominance. Seek and find. All right, Nyx Bloom Ancient. Still can't find it. Jesus. Never lucky. All right. Play this. Now, here's the question now. Do I have the finale of Devastation in this hand anywhere? <laughs> is it here? It appears it is not here. So, like, I just kind of very unfortunate that we can't seem to put this game away. So, I guess I'm going to play this Krasis for about 50 and see if we can draw into something useful.
Man, I don't know what's wrong with this game. So many glitches. The auto-tapper just can't figure out what to do in a situation like this. This is a very common game state. They should be prepared for these kind of happenings. In my personal opinion, you know, as a professional game designer. Which I'm not. I just say that on the internet. Alright, so I think we'll just go in for the big pig. And now we can untap this beautiful forest because it, it was almost, it was close. It was, it was close, but that Kiora untap I'm sure is going to finish the job. I don't know, they, they, they might live. This isn't, this isn't quite, oh my gosh, we missed lethal. Well, I was going to put this game on YouTube, but since we missed lethal, I'm probably not going to, because my ego can't take all the people in comments telling me how bad I am at this game. To be really honest, like, it just, it hurts too much. And again, there's only a hundred cards left in the deck, and we still haven't found Nyx Bloom Ancient. This is just, I don't know if this is an accurate representation of how this deck should play. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Where's Settle the Wreckage when you need it? Opponent lining up some careful blocks. But I know math is for blockers and all, but I think we got this. I think this one's in the bag. Bolt to the dome, you are a lying coward, but you get props from me for playing out this game. Now I've had the time of my life And I never felt like this before <laughs> uh, I'm sorry guys, I know I said I wasn't going to sing But I was going to reduce the singing content in the videos But what can I do? This, this is too much so yeah, if you copy the deck list, be careful with the craft all button, but it is a carefully tuned machine to win these games of magic, my friends. <laughs> so don't take yourself too seriously. Go out there, have some fun on these last few days of the meta, and get ready for Ikoria, where I'm sure Simic will get no good cards whatsoever, because that's the trend. All right, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. And goodbye.